someone who knows more about this than most humans in this country, Grover Norquist, president of Americans for Tax Reform. And he joins us now via Skype. Grover, always so good to see you. Such a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Dana, thank you. Good to be with you. Good to be with you. I was really, really shocked at one of the headlines, actually from your website that I saw. Biden wants to raise U.S. the U.S. corporate tax rate higher than that of communist China. China's rate's 25 percent. The proposed Biden rate is 28 percent. So we that's disastrous. I w- give me your response and your take on these proposals from Joe Biden and how I, I, I are you surprised that this has not even been modified even in the wake of the economic downturn with the pandemic? It's, it's gotten worse over time. Biden is proposing three and a half trillion dollars in tax increases over the next decade. To give you some understanding of ratios, Hillary Clinton threatened one trillion dollar of tax increases when she ran in 2016. So Biden, the moderate, is calling for more than three times as much in tax increases as Hillary did. Plus, uh, Biden supports a gasoline tax, an energy tax, a carbon tax, something that Hillary's advisors told her to stay completely away from because the, they've seen the poll. Well, we've seen the polling on it, and it all sucks. So Hillary wasn't going to talk about raising taxes on energy, gasoline, and so on. And Biden has already promised that to the left. So. Wow. On taxes, he's way out there. You mentioned China. We used to have a 35% corporate rate in the United States, highest in the world under Obama. Uh, President Trump and the Republicans took that down to 21. President Trump wanted 15. We got 21. 21's good, lower than 35. Yes. Better than China, better than France, better than Germany, better than most countries. But what Biden has said he'll do is, usually he says he'll repeal the entire Trump tax cut. That would bring it back to 35. He said that a dozen times on TV. He once said, we'll take it to 28. Um, So you could have it either way as to what he's promised. He's promised both. Both are higher than China's tax rate. Somebody looking to invest money would look at China and say they have lower taxes under Biden Mm -hmm. than the U.S. Maybe we invest in China rather than the U.S., under Trump, you choose to stay in the U.S., you choose to invest in the U.S., not China. Yeah, which completely betrays their desire to relocate so much of that Chinese-based manufacturing, bring that back to the United States, because it's that it's that higher rate that initially contributed to driving all of these corporations to outsource the manufacturing in the first place. So his plan ultimately simply strengthens China, which is just a great optic to have, great narrative to have for your campaign in all of this. Well, and just think of it at an individual level. Biden was making fun of that man who said that he'd gotten a tax reduction. Almost every American got a tax reduction, not just that one guy. Um, If you earn $70,000 a year, roughly average for a family of four, you got a $2,000 tax cut every year into the future. If you are a single mother earning $35,000 a year, you got a 1,300 with one child, $1,300 $1,300 tax cut every year into the future. 2001 case, $1,300 and another. If Biden wants to reinstate that penalty that Obama put on you if you didn't buy Obamacare, mm-hmm. three, two-thirds of all the people who paid that penalty, 700 bucks for an individual, as much as $1,500 for a family, earn less than $50,000 a year. This is a tax Biden is threatening to put on several million Americans punishing them for not, they don't get anything for it. They're punishing, the tax is a penalty, is a tax, to because they forgot, refused, didn't want to buy Obamacare. Mm, unbelievable. You mentioned something that was very intriguing uh, when you were describing his plan and comparing it to that of Hillary Clinton and how Hillary Clinton seems and I, of course, it would be 2020 that I would say this. This is the only time that this would even sound reasonable. Seems maybe more tempered than his He's he presents himself as a moderate, 
But that's so incredibly key because that his tax plan, his economic plan and so many of his other policies that he's proposed really speak to that far left Bernie Sanders base that he really needed to to reach in order to to solidify his support going forward for the nomination. So that position is one that he likely will not walk away from. That looks like that that's here to stay as far as the Democrat Party is concerned. Remember two points when he first ran and people asked him, what about Bernie and so on? He said, with Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren in the race, early in the primary, he said, I am the most progressive candidate in this race. He told the world he was to the left of Bernie and Elizabeth Warren. Then when Obama endorsed him, President Obama endorsed Biden and said he is the most progressive candidate to ever run on a major party position, Mm -hmm. meaning he's not to the left of Angela Davis and Gus Hall. Um, But only Obama would remember that the communists run every year. Um, So but for Democrats and for Republicans. Yes. Wow. And this is where this is where we are. The most expensive tax plan from any Democrat in recent history is what CNBC has called this. How would this put this in terms that 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 viewers and listeners across the country, Grover, uh, Grover Norquist from Americans for Tax Reform, that they can understand, say that we have uh, heaven forbid, say that we have a Joe Biden presidency. This has moved into place. What does that look like for the average American family in the United States? It would cut in half your standard deduction. That's step one. Gosh. It would cut in half your per, per child tax credit. It would raise everybody's tax, marginal tax rate in the country. Um, it would raise taxes for more than 90% of Americans. It would get rid of the alternative minimum tax. Many people found the alternative minimum tax one of the nastiest taxes that, that hit people. Um, the Trump tax cut got rid of it. If you paid the AMT, you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. Um, it was going to hit 30 million people, but the Republicans pulled it back and eventually abolished it completely. All of those, the, the, the tax for failing to buy Obamacare, that would disappear, um, that, that would reappear, reappear rather, um, under Biden. There's a whole series of significant middle-class tax increases that, that Biden seems to be completely unaware of how damaging they are to middle income people. But if you take a look at your tax return in 2017, before the tax cut took effect, compare it to 2018 and 2019, you can see the tax cut that you and your family got. That is what president, what a President Biden would take away from you every year into the future. Which would be absolutely disastrous for a recovering economy. And we were discussing a little bit earlier how what this economic rebound would look like. There was the chairman of the St. Louis Fed that was saying they, they could see unemployment down below 10 percent by December, provided that we stay on the, a good path. And we've heard from the administration there's a bunch of regulations, more regulations they're looking to cut uh, economically. You had a list on Americans for Tax Reform of 565 regulations that have been waived. These are not necessarily economic regulations, but federal agencies, regulatory standards, etc. things that even stymie the ability to, uh, to engage private labs to help process and develop quicker testing. Uh, Tell me a little bit about this, because it seemed that things just just glided along so much more smoothly after all of these regulations were removed. Hopefully they'll never be reinstated. There is legislation to make them permanently go away um, that uh, the Republicans have in the House and the Senate, and I hope that we'll see the light of day. Um, But this this crisis are designed and they've already written the plans to raise taxes mm-hmm. crisis go to waste you have wonder why a democrat puts good in front of well, this is, i have to i'm going to have to interrupt you for a moment there grover you well, now you're coming back in. You, you were you you froze sure. there momentarily and turned into a vocal robot. So and I had to pause you there just for a moment. But no, this I, I and these and I'm so happy to hear that there is legislation that would make these permanent because anything that would impede 
assistance or the ability for people to just get things done get the, I mean get a simple test developed processed I mean the idea that I will never get over the story about the the, the lab and the uh, the medical researcher in the state of Washington that was where the first cases and they wanted to study uh, the, these positive cases and figure out how this can be used not only for test processing but potentially for a vaccine and of course the FDA has to get involved and say no because of regulations we're not going to you need to cease all work thankfully she she didn't. Thankfully, it was that that nice rebellion and that contributed to us being as far along as we are in this. Americans for Tax Reform is the site. ATR.org. Grover Norquist, always appreciate your expertise and your voice on these issues. And, and I hope that everything that is on this website comes to pass with this legislation that's in the House and Senate. I'm positive that we will be speaking with you again as we barrel towards this economic recovery.